What's up, world? It's your boy Trey D, Strap Town Entertainment, checking in with you guys today for another video. Happy Thursday to all my subscribers. Make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. At 500 subs, we will be doing a giveaway. And we have another unboxing for you guys today. Actually, we have a new old unboxing. Like I said, we had a little um, technical difficulties for my phone and my laptop, so I had to reshoot this video. I had a pretty good week last week. I actually ended up hitting two pairs of the Jordan 1 satin snake skin. This one is a women's 10, which is a men's eight and a half. This, this release, I believe was last Thursday. I shot the unboxing video. It was stuck on my phone and I was having a little difficulties with it. So I thought I'd just make another one for you guys. I hit four pairs. On a reservation, I was only able to pick up two, uh, unfortunately. But these are very, very, very nice pickup. Very, very nice pickup. I wish I was able to get a size 12. A lot of guys are going for the size 12 because that is a 10 and a half on men's. If you wear anything bigger than the 10 and a half, uh, for men's, you're pretty much are assed out when it comes to rocking these. But I think this is a good hold. I think in six months. This 170 will turn into possibly four or five hundred dollars. It's a very quality shoe. Obviously, anything with the Chicago colorway is going to do very well. And the snake skin is just an added bonus. Some people said that they didn't like it, but I think it's done very well and very quality at the end of the day. And this is in my humble opinion, obviously. Let me show you guys this one. It comes with two interchangeable laces, the red and the white. I wouldn't mind mix matching, mix, mix, mix matching them, honestly. But once again, I wear a size 13 Bigfoot Gang Gang. So this shoe is out of my range, unfortunately. Got a receipt from Finish Line. Official shoes only. I don't want to show my information. But I always want to let people know that's what's going on over here. Everything DS, Dead Stock Shouty. It's a beautiful one. Quality is very beautiful. Nike Air on that tongue like we like to see. This is the bigger size out of the two. This is a size 10. And like I said, these retailed at 170, like Jordan 1s do. That old red Nike Jordan 1 box. It's always nice to see. Got these at finish line. Second pair of these guys. It's always nice to double up. I have two pairs of all the holds that I have. Size 7, which is a 5.5 in men's. Baby feet. No disrespect to my small feet guys out there. I hope your women are actually end up with a lot of these pairs. I know as guys do a, a bulk of the reselling or the collective, but it's a lot of women Jordan heads out there. I've seen a lot of cute pictures with the kids rocking these. They came out in um, preschool and toddler sizes as well. Women's shoes don't come in grade school because they pretty much already are in grade school, being that women's shoes are so small. I just love the snake skin on here, man. Too bad it didn't come in my size. I would definitely like to get a third pair. One for the toe and two for the hold because this is going to be a good investment. For $170 and for a Jordan 1, if you were able to get your hands on these, this is going to look good during Christmas time. That's what, that's my deadline. Not my deadline, but my um, my just my estimation, my uh, my guess. This is, my, this is just my guess of what they're going to go up by then. Hopefully they go up a little quicker. Either way, I'm going to hold them. I'm not tripping. I'm not really pressed to sell these. I got a couple of pairs of the Yeezy Zions I'm holding. Got a couple of pairs of the University Gold Jordan 12s that I'm holding. Got a couple of pairs of the Jordan Flints that I'm holding. The 13s. And I have a couple of pairs of some other Jordan 1s that I'm holding. And it's going to be a good, good long-term investment at the end of the day. Jordan 1s hold their value, if not go up over time. They're not widely re redu I mean, re um, uh, released as some of the other Jordans, like the Jordan 5, the Bel Air uh, 5, Jordan 5, I think those are going to be everywhere. I'm not really tripping about getting a lot of pairs. I'm going to get a few pairs of flip, obviously, but I'm going to try to go for in-store release day pairs, so that way I can get rid of them the same day, versus holding on to these because they're going to grow in value. I didn't, unfortunately, grab any of the pairs of the Japans. Those are the other Jordan ones that came out the day after, but I'm still trying to make that happen. They got restocks going on. Tomorrow we have the Zen Green Jordan ones, and on Saturday, like I said, we have the Jordan fives, the Bel Airs, made very popular by Fresh Prince. 
So I'm gonna tune in with you guys. I'm gonna have a new video. Make sure you show me some love in the comments. Like this video. If you support your boy, subscribe to the channel and hit me on those links in my description. I appreciate you guys' time today. Have a very good one.